Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today Adobe announced Adobe Firefly, probably the most inevitable program ever, but also damned impressive, at least from the marketing material. So what exactly is Adobe Firefly? Well, point simply, this is their answer to the likes of Mid Journey Dally and Stable Diffusion, the generative AI models that have been implemented across Adobe suites of tools. But from what I'm seeing of their demonstration, this is really impressive stuff. And one of those things about this whole approach, uh, Adobe, uh, their number one audience is artists and content creators, unlike uh, those three AI products I just mentioned, who um, have a bit of a, a bad reputation with creators because, quite frankly, uh, you could argue that they're ripping off artists' work to m put artists out of work. Whereas Adobe obviously needs to walk a fine line because the majority of their uh, users are actually artists. So this is actually uh, a suite of tools across Adobe's range of products, but they did a really good job of it, at least in the artist materials. So this is generative AI made for creators. Again, this is gonna be a focus on making art tools better with AI, as opposed to replacing artists with AI. Uh, and you can see some of the examples here are just really impressive. So here you can see them filling in some white space on a project or making uh, tweaks to an existing uh, design. You can do variations here. And again, when they scale up here and then there's this basic filled in spot, you're using an AI text prompt to fill it in. So this is supplement of tools, and that, if it actually works like this, that is super impressive. So this would obviously be an extension to Photoshop, but it doesn't end there. We've got tools basically here for uh, creating brushes and vectors. So imagine generating custom vector brushes and textures, just a few words, or even with a sketch. Plan to build this into Fireply, uh, plus the ability to edit what you create using the tools you already know and love. So again, if you're working in, say, Adobe Illustrator, you need to create custom vector brushes. Here you're seeing that work in action. And again, this is supplemental tools. So this isn't you know doing the artist work for you. It's for creating variations of work you already did. So if you want to modify a font, for example, a vector-based font, you can start from a base font and go there. Some super powerful stuff there. And then the world of video is not going untouched either. And this one is really kind of impressive. So what you do is basically uh, take an existing scene and here you're changing it to a winter scene. Now again, this is a this isn't me going hands on. This is their actual demonstration of it. So does this actually work this well on video? Who knows, but this is impressive stuff. Uh, and then we got some down here, content creation tools as well. So you can make templates from a text prompt. And this is kind of neat as well. So we've got some 3D stuff. Now this is again, a, a prediction of where they want to go, not what they can actually do right now. In the future, we hope to enable Firefly to do amazing work with 3D, like turning simple 3D compositions into uh, photorealistic images and quickly creating new styles and variations of 3D objects. Again, the key wording here to be aware of is in the future. So we don't actually know how much of this stuff actually works. It is a beta. See if you can get into the beta or not. I'm not in it as of right now. But here you can see a couple of um, generative results from, you know, the letter N made from green and red moss and from gold and intricate ornate and N made of red particles. And the key part here, again, where they're going to be really different from the likes of Dali, Mid Journey, and so on. First off, they're a tool company. So this is using AI to make their tools better, but obviously they need to cater to the creators. They can't just steal their work and put them out of business, quite obviously. Uh, so there are some details about the responsibility behind it. Uh, so efforts like the content authenticity, authenticity, I can't speak today, initiative and coalition for um, content province and authenticity and do not train stuff. They're working in that regard. Uh, again, more tools about where they're working and where they're going with this. It's pretty amazing. So here you can see using simple brush strokes to change a photo by adding glasses to somebody, applying your own, your own trained style uh, to things. Um, and then here, natural photo mixing. Uh, so that is the basis of it. You can get a lot more of the facts about it down here, the FAQ. Uh, the ethics question is definitely the important part, uh, how they train their um, stuff available in a blog post kind of to talk about you know the, the the model behind this this is the big question that you have with products like dally and so on is where did they train their data set from did they you know are they ripping off other people's works well they talk about that quite strictly here at uh with the firefly initiative so i'll show you some resources if you want to learn more about how they actually train their model um but yeah so this again is kind of a repeat of what we saw earlier on uh some of this is Adobe Sensei, Gen AI, it seems to be the most 
uh, traditional-ish like version of what we've seen here. But here you can see, again, a lot of um, breakdowns of how they train their model, uh, what you could do, what you'll be able to do going forward, um, and so on. So if you're working and wondering about the ethical ramifications of AI for artist tools, that seems to be a really strong focus that Adobe is going for. And once again, they have to, because their number one audience is actually artists. And, and you can put your head in the sand all you want. AI-powered tools 100% are the future. And Adobe has realized that as well. Let's see if they manage to do things in an ethical and actual creator friendly way. I haven't gone through all these videos yet, but it's interesting that they are actually out there. Uh, we've also got some uh, demonstrations of what you can actually generate using Adobe Firefly. So here are some uh, text effects that are generated um, using text prompts. A video you can walk through, see the various different examples uh, in here of basically turning letters and making custom styles on them. Here you've got your traditional image generation. You know, this is your uh, DALI uh, mid-journey um, slash uh, a stable diffusion type approach to so text to image. Uh, here you can see some of the results of what they've worked with. So if you want to go through here and check out uh, their kind of results of their AI, this is the traditional AI stuff that we've seen as of late. Probably one of the more interesting things here, and this would be for your Adobe Illustrator type people, is recoloring of vectors. So you can take your own uh, existing vector art and have it recolor it based off text prompts you give. Uh, so yeah, you can see a, a lot of details of what this is all about. Another cool things we've got here are in-painting tools. Uh, they show them really well in the video. Another neat one they've got is 3D uh, to image. Basically, you're using uh, simple primitives uh, to model a 3D scene, and then you use a description, and it takes your the basic 3D scene and creates an image out of it. Uh, image extension, we saw this sort of earlier on where they, well, this one's a little bit different. So this changes the aspect ratio of an image with a single click. Uh, you can turn a um, text to a pattern, so tiling effects right there. Uh, text to templating, uh, you can turn a sketch into an image. So again, a lot more um, you know artist-driven tools going on here. Uh, and so, so some really cool tools going here. It looks like it's going to be pretty much across their suite of tools. Uh, here you can see um, kind of a, a video demonstration of some of what Firefly is all about. Uh, so you've got various different content, right? So you can create it in photo or a drawings type. You can automatically fill in a photo based off what you've got. Again, you've got in-painting tools like we were seeing in action right here where they turn him from having a shirt on uh, to a red coat. Again, this could be entirely smoke and mirrors and completely BS, but like, because this one, these kind of prompt tools are, those are really impressive. I just don't know if they really exist yet, but I can't see them uh, advertising this kind of stuff and then not actually following through to a certain degree. Um, but here you can see again, using simple shapes to, to feed an image that you're creating from it. Uh, I would highly recommend walk, walking through this entire video because it does show you kind of where they're going, what kind of tooling and functionality is in this guy. And yeah, that is it. So this ladies and gentlemen is Adobe, uh, what is it called again? Firefly? Yeah, Adobe Firefly. Uh, so this is a suite of generative AI models that are coming to Adobe products. Um, if you are an Adobe Creative Cloud user right now, uh, this seems to be Adobe's answer to artificial intelligence. Once again, if you are interested, they uh, do go into detail about, uh, you know, how they ethically train their models. And again, you could probably want to read it to figure out exactly how it goes. But you can see here... Um, there are some details about where the data actually comes from. Uh, so here you can see this is trained from a data set of Adobe stock, which kind of makes sense, uh, along with openly licensed work and public domain content where copyright has expired. So they're not training this off of uh, your art specifically. Like they're, they're not training it off of you know deviant art or other places online. Uh, this seems to be the sources of the art for this thing. And uh, it's nice to see that at least that they are um, conscientious of this because it seems to be the biggest problem for these kind of tools is the, the morality and legality of it. Um, and again, Adobe has to skate a line that those other tools don't because the majority of their audience really care about this stuff. So that is Adobe Firefly. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.